looking to see if um, one of the lamps are out in here. It's the headlamp. <laughs> All right, she just pushed it away. All right. First, you have to get the culprit. Okay. Otherwise, we're not going to know to switch it with, right? And then let's go break in. What do I think was stolen from the back? Rumor has it that there's a flux capacitor in the back room. That's, that's what I heard. So if, if I had to put money on it, that's probably what someone was in there trying to get their hands on the flux capacitor. Key. And you see this, you just have to, you have to push. Yeah. All right. Maybe he's gotten a new lock, in which case we'll have to. Hi. Just breaking in. Just your friendly. Your friendly breaking into Dennis's office. Yes. What are you doing? I'm just breaking and entering. There you go. Oh, wow. All right. All right. Got the ball. So this is Dennis's office. They probably told you they were looking for like a, a, a light bulb or something silly, but we, we know what they were looking for. Oh, maybe. Yeah. And then we're going to tell, do you have your phone? Yes. Take a screenshot. And then we're going to tell him we stole one. Perfect. Yes. Mission accomplished. Yeah. Miss Carol, Mr. Dennis is looking for his flux capacitor that he had stored in his storage room back there. I don't know what that means. I took a light bulb and I told him. I told him I took a light bulb. A light, light bulb? It does kind of look like a light bulb. <laughs> but then looking at it again, so, I said, well, it kind of looks like a floodlight. Regardless, I took one. Is that okay? We'll see. So you know nothing about a flux capacitor? I don't even know what that... I, I've never <laughs> said those <laughs> words in my life. She's never seen Back to the Future. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what that no. means. Uh -uh. You know what I'm is? just too young. You're too young? That's a... It's a device that was used back in Back to the Future. It was a time machine. It was awesome. I do think I'm part royalty, so I probably want to go to a palace somewhere mm -hmm. in like 1900s, early 1900s. Don't you think I'm part royalty? Part royalty, absolutely. Just got the queen's way. I do. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what we should do this year. Everyone should be Back to the Future. We, Carolyn would have to watch the movie first. Yeah, and, and there's not there's not enough skimpy outfits. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I need to be in spandex. If I can't be in spandex, I'm not participating. Fox capacitor. If I had it, where would it go? I don't know. I'd have several places. I'd want to jump. I think I want a time hub. I would take myself to the future, where the Browns are in the Super Bowl and oh God, win the Super Bowl. So we're talking probably like 4, 000, year 4,020 <laughs> something, right? Friday. Ooh, maybe I want to go back and see the day I was born. That would be kind of fun. Right? I tell them maybe to change my name to something better. <laughs> Horse riding sucks. No, it doesn't. Yeah, you know it how does. to ride. That one, you know how to ride. I'm telling you. No, Brian, it really I've, hurts I've, your, your little parts. I've written, written dozens of times and I've never once enjoyed it. But if I was being paid for a two minute ride on Secretariat, no, you would do it. no problem. I'd be young enough to ride Secretariat. I only weighed 116 pounds back then. <laughs> so I could, have, I, could, I could have ridden Secretariat. And being a horseman, Actually, I'm not really a horseman, I'm a better. <laughs> Being a better, I would have enjoyed that. What would you do with a flux capacitor if you had one? 
Clear Choice Custom LASIK Center. How can I help you? This is Ron. Hey, Dennis. How's it going? So you're in the warehouse looking for... No, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen anything. I'm not sure what's going on there, dude. No, I don't know who the last one was in there. It wasn't me. Sure, but if I yeah, if I see anything, I'll let you know. Thanks, buddy. You have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs> I think I know where it is. <laughs> oh, this might... Woo, yeah, I don't know where it is. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, am I going to be able to make the first weeded bourbon? Yeah, I think so. The old fluxy. <laughs> to go get the recipe to this, it's going to have money all over it. I think talking to the colonel is going to be fantastic. Ready for some scooter racing? Let's see what channel the scooter racing is on and sit back and enjoy. I actually go pretty fast on the scooter. I almost ran Dennis over. <laughs> you want to see dedicate? This is dedication. 100%. Let's see how fast should we time you? I'm pretty fast. Oh wait, I have a stopwatch. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, get the stopwatch. Let's time you. Don't you love the basket? That's I the best part. One, two, three, go! go. You have to beat my score on my scooter. <laughs> <laughs> or my time. I'll just let you know. Oh. So wait, let Dr. Augustine pass this one. Be careful, Dr. Augustine, you're gonna get run over. That's true. Wait, which leg? Oh, you have to have your left leg, yep. Okay. You need to make some adjustments. Actually, I she did 749 last time. So she actually beat you. Let me try the other leg. Ready? One, two, three, go! That's how they do it in the loop. They go. They do not do that. <laughs> was that. Was that a good run? Yeah. Yes. Alright, so I heard that somebody posted a time on the scooter challenge, and I am pretty certain that I can beat it, so we're gonna see what happens. One, two, three, go! Not a problem. Oh my. So that is, that, that's not fair because his legs are long. He's, I swear, about eight foot tall, and as I'm looking right over there to see how tall he is, and you should use his knees or his hands.